I was brought to Ford by Jay Mays, our global design chief, and Lewis Booth, with the simple exercise of, of creating a new design language for Ford. I was always interested in, in car design um, from a very early age. I remember being able to identify cars from the age of about five or six, just about everything that went past the bus. Um, at about the age of 12, I think, I wrote to a very famous gentleman, Alec Izigonis, the designer, inventor of the Mini, asking him how a young lad might get into car design. I remember getting a very nice letter back from him, um, saying that, in his opinion, um, a budding car designer should go to university and um, found that there are other people in the world like me that all wanted to be car designers, so it was great. The simple, the simple notion that Lewis put to me was, I want drop-dead gorgeous cars. And what we're aiming to do is, is to compel the onlooker, compel the customer to investigate the car further. So the first time you see a car, usually you know, is this, do I like this car, or do I not like this car? But more important than that is, is it compelling? And then that's where the, the whole process of developing kinetic design started. Kinetic defines movement, defines energy. Uh, and then we came upon the, the notion that our design language was energy in motion, making a car look like it was moving when it was standing still. And in our presentations about kinetic design, we've used imagery of modern architecture. For example, uh, modern bridges, like the Millennium Bridge in London. Modern buildings, such as designed by Santiago Calatrava, some of the really expressive architecture, we, we find very inspirational. I wouldn't say that the shapes or even the actual buildings are inspirational, but it's the notion of the vision of the architect, always pushing forward architecture into the future, which I think is fascinating for us and what we try to emulate when we're doing our car design. Um, we have a strategy of concept cars being relevant to the final product. I, OSIS translated into Mondeo, really offered the customer something which was great looking, affordable, a family car, but the link to the IOSIS, the vision of kinetic design was very, very visible, very clear. These are how, are how our cars are going to look for the future and look forward to buying something like this very soon. I think that's the way, I think, that show cars, concept vehicles, are best utilized. Now, the process of designing cars is, um, is very visual. The process starts with a sketch. These days we work very, very quickly by hand, create a three-dimensional sketch, if you like, um, scan it with electronic means, and then translate the scanned data into um, surfaces which we, which we create with the three-dimensional computer programs. Okay, some of the very strong aspects of kinetic design you can see in the frontal aspect of the new Mondeo. I'm looking at form language here and graphic elements. Form language, Dynamic lines, this full surface that you see going over the front of the car here, that describes the form language of kinetic design. The fullness of the surfaces gives you that strength, that integrity of the design, the athleticism and the muscularity. I think great design is something which is, which is expressive, compelling and fascinating. And you know yourself when you, if you go to a design shop and you, you see a, 100 articles in the window, there's one thing which usually catches your eye, and that's the compelling piece of design. We are really trying to transform the Ford brand into a design-driven brand. It's, I think it's working with the S-Max and, uh, and with the new, with the new um, Mondeo. Um, we've got a lot of attention in the media. Um, we've got a lot of praise for the, the look of the car, and um, we're really trying to push the Ford brand through design as, as these architects are. We're constantly asking ourselves, what, should, what are we going to do next? What is the next step? How do we develop this graphic here? How do we develop that form there? And, and pushing kinetic design into the future is, is what our aim is to be. And um, I think that's the challenge of the design team to develop a winning strategy into an even more successful strategy for the future.